Alrighty, in this video we're going to be solving an exponential equation using a couple of log laws. Um, this is the strategy you'll use if ever you're trying to solve for an unknown and that unknown is in the power or index of or exponential of an equation. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is use a log law and I'm going to write the log law up here so we can refer back to it. Um, but one of the log laws says that log of some base let's say a of a is equal to one. That's one of our log laws that we're going to be using. So if you have a log with a base of a, uh, two a, it's gonna be equal to one. Um, in fact, I'm gonna expand upon that and I'm gonna say if you've got log base a of a to the power of something else, let's say b, so this is um, what I'm evaluating here, that's gonna be just equal to the thing in the power. Okay, because this log base A and this A all going to kind of cancel each other out, so to speak, and all we're going to be left with is this B here. So we're going to be using that concept because we want to get rid of this 2 to the power of, right? We just want T. So we're going to start by taking log base 2. Notice that these two have to be the same. So we're going to take log base 2 of both sides. So I'm going to write that in uh, blue here and green. So I'm going to say log base 2 of both sides, so we get 2 here, 2 to the 2t is equal to log base 2 of 32. Alright, now two things are happening right now. First of all, we've set up a situation and you're allowed to take logs of both sides. We've set up a situation such that this log base two and this two are all gonna cancel. So my left hand side is just gonna become two T. What's in this power here? Now my right hand side, this log base two of 32, if you're switched on and you know your uh, exponential values, uh, you might know that 32 is two to the power of five. And so this right hand is just equal to five. However, very often in solving log problems, uh, you're not going to get a nice answer like we're going to get. And so you'll have log base 2 of say 31, which doesn't have a nice answer. So you need a way to evaluate that. So I'm going to leave it in this form for now. So I'm going to get log base 2 of 32. And the last line I'm going to write here before moving over is I need to solve for t and hence I'm gonna divide both sides by two or times by a half. So I'm gonna get t is equal to one half of log base two of 32. Now, a problem you might run into um, is that your calculator may or may not, probably may not, uh, have a log base two functionality. Um, a lot of uh, computer Algebra software calculators, CAS um, calculators will have that functionality, but your typical FX82 or uh, TI84 won't be able to do that. So uh, the TI84 might, but the standard scientific calculators can't, but they can do log base 10, which is just normal log, or they can do log base E, which is your LN function. Um, and so I'm going to show you one more log law, which sometimes will come in handy to solve these. And that law is that if you take log base let's say um, let's say a of x uh, and you want to solve that you can either use ln or regular log I just like ln for the sake of it but you can call that ln of x divided by ln of a so ln of the this uh, term here divided by ln of the base of the original log and we're going to use that law to continue this one here, I'm going to move this one across, so I've got a bit of board space to continue solving, and I'm going to represent log base 2 of 32 in this form. So I'm going to get t equals 1 half, and now I'm going to use brackets because it's 1 half of all this. So my uh, fraction here is going to be ln of 32 divided by ln of 2. And now this, because my regular scientific calculator can do this, uh, if I put this whole expression in my calculator, it spits out that t is equal to 2.5. And so if, say, for example, t was in hours, I might say, it'll take 2.5 hours for so-and-so, whatever the context of the question is. But in terms of actually solving it, uh, this is the procedure here 
initially we used one of these two log laws um, to essentially get rid of the exponential because log base two of two cancels out to just be one, so we've just left with two t. And we used a change of base log law in order to be able to evaluate it in our calculator. Again, two things. If you know what 32, uh, if two to the power of 32 is, uh, and you know that that's two to the power of five, you can put that in there uh, and just simplify that to be five. And hence we would have two t equals five divided by two, yeah, t equals 2.5. Um, and the other thing is you don't have to use ln, you could use log base 10 or whatever you wanted to use. So hopefully this helps you solving um, equations, especially exponential equations using logs.